Hi guys, um, in this class we are going to talk about route determination. Let me quickly log on to SAP and I'll show you on the screen where you can see the route in an order. When you think of the route, it's the same old route that you, you know, know about. The route defines how you need to go from a source to the destination. Each route will be assigned a unique code and the source will be the plant or the shipping point and the destination will be the ship to party. Let's see where the route is in a transaction. Create an order using our standard customer and enter a material. Go to the shipping tab and then you'll see that there is something called as a route. <coughs> and it's a very cryptic code R00110. But what does it mean? There is a whole bunch of configuration behind determining that particular route R00110 and there are a whole bunch of parameters that define what that route is in the first place. Now there is a lot of jargon that's involved here like you know mode of transport, shipping type so on and so forth. We'll just cut through all of that and then I'll just talk about the four or six different parameters that really affect a route. Alright, so now that you understand where a route is in the system and what is a route, let's understand that a route contains all these parameters connection points. Now let me just go back one step and then show you what a route is. So this is our route is. A route is a four to, is a six character or a four character alphanumeric and then it will have an ID and of course apart from that it will have shipping type, it will have distance, it will have transit time, it will have a factory calendar, travel duration, all the parameters that you want to define a route with. Now, not all the parameters are required um, in order for you to really understand what route is. So connection points, mode of transport, stages, shipping type is not really relevant when you think of route from a pure SD perspective. When you get a little bit into logistics execution, handling unit management, maybe you might want to touch upon some of these. But at this point, since you're just learning SD, I would not recommend you go into these off topic areas. Okay, so none of these at this point. Moving on, so what else is important? The first thing is what is called as a transportation zone. This is one of the key parameters in defining a customer because when you define a customer let's say VD01 and then you select your customer account group whatever number and it seems I'm just using some country and then you see the transportation zone here right and then US has these different transportation zones East West Pacific Central Mountain Chicago so on and these are all freely definable as you know you can just go and click on this new button and it will take you to the config where you can define 
a new transportation zone. But what exactly is a transportation zone? Now, between any two geographical locations, now if you think of this as Chicago, and if you think of this as New York, now Chicago will have a certain set of customers and that zone, that geographical zone, is called as a transportation zone. So all customers within that area will fall under a particular transportation zone. This is to identify source and destinations at a broad level. All right. The first one was the zone or the transportation zone of the customer, the ship to. The second thing is the same concept applied to the shipping point. Each shipping point will also be assigned to a zone. Now again, if you take that Chicago, New York example, if your plant is in Chicago and your customer ship to is in New York, this customer will belong to a transportation group, let's say 0000003, 000 which is eastern zone, northeastern zone, whatever. And then the plant will belong to a particular transportation zone. And you are going to manually set it in configuration. All right. So the first thing at a higher level is a zone. And a zone is defined at both the endpoints. The first endpoint is the source which is the shipping point the second endpoint is the destination which is the ship to and defining a transportation zone for a ship to is config and defining a transportation zone for a customer is end user transaction all right the third important parameter is a transportation group and it's defined at a material master level. If you go to the sales general plan, and then you'll see that this is one of the mandatory fields for most materials that are not service. Now, why is a transportation group important? A transportation group defines, or rather, transportation group plays a role in determining a route for the simple reason that not all materials can be transported in a particular route. Same example, Chicago to New York. You could transport the goods via air, you could transport the goods via truck, you could transport the goods via whatever external um, logistics providers, so on and so forth, via train. The properties of the material also play a significant role in determining the route. For example, if you are sending hazardous material, let's say phenol or some kind of flammable material, obviously you don't want to send that on uh, your regular air freight, right? You want to use special trucks or you want to use special train uh, bogies. If you are sending frozen or refrigerated materials, you want to only use a route that can handle refrigerated materials under a certain temperature. If you want to use trains for that, you want to use refrigerated train cars. So apart from the source and destination zones, the third important parameter is the type of material and the parameter from the material master that's used to identify it is called as a transportation group because the purpose of it is to determine the m route used in transportation okay the fourth parameter is the shipping condition shipping condition is very very simple to identify it will come from the customer master 
or it will come from the document type. This is VOV8, your sales document type configuration. When you create an order of type, let's say ZOR5, using customer 1000, the shipping conditions in the shipping tab of the sales area of the customer will first take precedence and come and sit in the header of the sales order. However, if you have a shipping conditions defined for a document type that you are creating an order for, this will override the shipping conditions that's coming from the customer master. So shipping conditions in the sales document also play a vital role in determining the route. Now we are seeing all the parameters step by step and their background. And in the next couple of slides, we're gonna put all these things together and finally see the config as to how route is determined. So we have done four parameters. And if you move forward, the transportation zone of the ship to address is one parameter. Transportation zone of the shipping point is a second parameter. Third parameter and fourth parameter being the shipping conditions and transportation group. So finally, how is the route determined? So these are the parameters that define your route. Shipping conditions in the sales order header transportation group of that line item because the route e could be per line item each line item could have a different route one is frozen one is regular they form different routes departure country destination country so the zones you know the western zone if you define a western zone the western zone in germany could be different from the western zone in the us so Apart from zone, there is a higher level of abstraction called the country. So, consider country like an extension of zone. If you understand zone, country is just an extension. Each country can have n number of zones and the same zone name could be associated with different countries. So, eastern zone could be there in Germany, eastern zone could be there in the US. The fifth parameter and the sixth parameter are of course the zones source destination so your six parameters that define a route are shipping conditions transportation group and then the rest of the four conditions are related to the geography the zones and the countries this determines the route so in summary what we have learned is what is a route and what are the parameters that are used in data mining a route all right now don't even go digging around and you know finding as to where route is and uh, uh, in the config and well I would just say just go around maybe a little bit into the configuration and uh, see where route is but really don't go too too deep into it it's a very uh, trivial topic but nevertheless, it's something that should be covered for the simple reason that um, you know, if you're not able to talk a little bit about routes, you'd be in problem. Okay, so this is where you refine the routes. If you want, I'll make some notes here. So it's a page. So define routes is this is how you define routes. So define a route and each route will have the set of parameters that we discussed at the very early part of the slide. So if you take a route and then look at it in detail, it contains all these different parameters. Now route determination. So you define your transportation zone. Uh, you define your weight groups is an additional parameter, but let's not worry about weight groups. You define the route determination here. So go here. 
and then define routes assign routes or do a route determination add an additional page and if you go to route determination you'll see all those six parameters in a very systematic manner alright for example if you look at this route a route between Eastern US and Pacific US and there are two types of route determination one is based on weight and the other is not based on weight so let's look at just the scenario where it's not based on weight so between this source and destination zones for a particular shipping condition and for a particular transportation group the proposed route is this and this is how route determination is done this is the only piece of configuration that you need to know the only addition to it apart from weight groups would be user exits where you can customize the way routes are being determined that's not beyond that's not in the scope of this chapter here so just try and understand a little bit about routes don't need to go too much into it those six parameters source destination two things in source there is a zone there is country in destination there is zone there is country the other two parameters are shipping conditions transportation group that's it these six parameters will define a route if somebody asks you about weight groups you can very well say I have not worked on weight groups alright thank you guys